What's up ladies and gentlemen of YouTube? This is Rob from Connecticut. In this uh, video I'm showing you how I make a notched straight edge for my guitar. It comes in handy if you want to check out the relief in your neck or the bow and you've got frets on it. In this case my FG165, my old Yamaha, the frets are off but uh, it still works. I've got this beefy square that I cut down and basically made a large ruler and I'm laying that on the fretboard and I'm putting a line by each fret. Make sure those are um, noted and then what I'm going to do is take it down to my shop and I'm going to cut a notch in each of those areas. I have, um, I have it on my bench. I'm going to throw some painter's tape to a, a depth that I think is good. You don't want to go too deep obviously. You want to keep the structural integrity of the of the ruler or the or the uh, yardstick you're using. Once I get that depth down to about where I want it, I'm throwing a board on it, a piece of, of uh, Tyvek, not Tyvek, of uh, old Trek decking. I'm going to put it on my vise, and then I'm going to get out a file and start uh, notching it. I like to use chainsaw files. I always save my old chainsaw files. They come in handy as punches, and you can use them for a million different things. So I'm going to go by hand, and I'm going to go down to the level that uh, is basically where the painter's tape is. And again, keep those chainsaw files. They come in handy and you can just throw them away when you're done with them. I could use a power saw you know something like a cutoff some people like to use table saws and other things for me this is easy uh, again it's quiet I've got the files on hand and it's just a matter of sitting there spending some time and it's kind of cool I think you get a little up close and personal uh, with the tools that you're making and that's what it looks like I'll throw some sandpaper on these I'll deburr these as well make sure they're in uh, good shape and that's what it looks like going on the guitar. It looks pretty good. You know, it's not um, picture perfect, uh, but there's plenty of space where the frets go, and um, it'll certainly work for what I need. So once I did this, I like the way it came out. I did the same thing for my Morgan Mahogany. And this is what it looks like on the fretboard. And this guitar has the frets on it. It's only two years old, so I haven't killed the frets yet. I've only been playing guitar seriously for a couple of years. I'm not very good, and I probably press a little bit too hard on the frets. Now we'll take it downstairs, and I'll get it cleaned up, and we'll see what she looks like. What's up, ladies and gentlemen of YouTube? Here's the fa Hey, I said action. You're supposed to be quiet. Dust off your face at Salem. This is a um, final or finished product from my fret level tool that I made from that square. What I did today is this had um, a coating of plastic on it from the original manufacturer. I scraped that off with a razor blade. You can see some of the scrape marks are still here. And then I hit both sides with 100 grit sandpaper. Finished it with 220. So this is about as fine as I want to get on this. Came out to be everything I needed to be but it's all nice and smooth I think it looks good for what I need I think it's going to be plenty beefy and level enough and hopefully it's something that you guys can do as well if you need one of these in a pinch and don't want to spend 60 70 bucks um, on one for your guitar I want to introduce you to Salem hey she's been with me there she is she just said hello good kitty uh, again I have about two hours into this well worth the effort um, I can take whatever money I save from this and maybe put it into something that needs to be more um, precise um, from Stumac or from any of the other uh, luthier companies. So uh, there you have it. Thanks for sticking with me. Keep an eye out for more content. A lot of it uh, no one cares about, but it's all pertinent to me and maybe it'll be uh, helpful and pertinent to you. We'll see you next time.